Hi, this is Marco Polo Ignacio, composer, Rondalia arranger, and Rondalia instructor, and a violinist. When I was in high school, uh, I was sent by my tita a compact disc of Bayanihan dance troupe wherein uh, it was a breakthrough because first of all in those days I prior to those years I was listening to music in cassette tapes and vinyl so when my tita gave me CDs and a, a, a CD player this is one of the first CDs that I listened to and it was such a breakthrough that whenever I play this it really gave me the feeling of being proud to be a Filipino the Rondalia music of the Philippines um, if you would listen to it with arrangements of folk dances and folk songs uh, is a very very rich heritage it is, it is a very very rich um, pool of inspiration I would say when I was in the conservatory on my second year I took Rondalia class and Rondalia arranging that would be first semester and second semester and uh, it's a breakthrough because I was playing the, the, the Banduria and uh, when we have uh, concerts like Sampung Daliri the, the, our class would, would play on that uh, the production on the cultural center of the Philippines. So, besides that, I was a member of the UST Symphony Orchestra. So, there would be times that uh, I would be playing the orchestra and then the rondalia for a few years. It was a wonderful experience because. Uh, I do not just play for one group. Okay, so yeah, I have varied experiences. And then, in the year 2006, prior to my uh, graduation to UST as a composition major, the district of Santa Maria organized a children's rondalia and uh, I was chosen to be an, an instructor so I have no prior uh, instruction on teaching a rondalia but then I did, I did my best to start uh, teaching the kids uh, my formula is I have to produce a simple number, short numbers for those children that wherein the, the piece is very easy and then it can be played. So I could remember that uh, my first arranged piece was going down and after all I arranged it in very very much easy for the guitars and basses to follow so that would be the start of my arrangements my children's rondalas my children rondalas arrangements and later on that particular set of instruments of Santa Maria this district of Santa Maria was later transferred to Santa Cruz Elementary School, Barangay Santa Cruz, wherein my father was the principal for, for quite a long time. And then, uh, that rondalia uh, disbanded when I was 
employed as a public school teacher in Santa Maria Central School in 2013. To mention, I also did taught Rondalia on Barangay Inaon in Pulilan, Bulacan. There was a, a benefactor there in, in that barangay that really, really wanted to, to hear a rondalia. So he bought some instruments and then uh, it just so happened that the district supervisor knows me because uh, my father and the district supervisor, Mr. Enriquez, uh, they were very close. They were very close friends. So... I was being contacted, and that was around 2007, I think, going 2008. Uh, I did teach in one year. So, and that further expanded my my uh, knowledge in teaching the Rondalia and some of my arrangements for the children's Rondalia. On my fifth year of teaching at Santa Maria Central School as an elementary teacher, I, um, bas I was being acquainted to Mr. Juan Gregorio, um, Master Teacher of Fortunato Efalili National Agricultural School. So we, we became acquainted through Sir Marquez Cartel. And then... Um, I found out that Fortunato Efalili National Agricultural School or FINAS has their special program for the arts and they have their rondalia. So a few times I visited the the class and I was really really uh, surprised and uh, the kids are really great. The children are you know quite advanced. So I was really inspired. So I later on 2017-2018 school year 2017-2018 I uh, transferred to Finas 2018 of May and uh, I became very uh, much acquainted to the Rondalia teacher which is um, Sir Anthony Ryan Cruz um, Anthony or Ryan, me and Ryan uh, became uh, became one of the most uh, I would say in my career so far one of the most productive <laughs> tandem I would say we are we are the most you know because uh, he would teach I would arrange he would conduct. And then I would uh, shoot. The idea of arranging uh, pop music for Rondalia was not actually quite new, but then it was suggested of by one of my uh, grade ten students. And then, okay. I, Maybe I thought, why not? Why not? Why not? I should uh, do a series of arrangements f so that children or our uh, our students in in the Rondalia class in Fortunato Efalili would be um, 
you know, much more interested and much more motivated on what they are doing. So, if I could remember, the first arrangement that I did for Finas Rondalia, Finas SPA Rondalia would be Titi Botibo of Moira de la Torre and then uh, we, we shoot it and then we we shared it on Facebook and then viral is a one in a million chance. We just shared our video and then people were sharing my video. Came to the close attention of some media outlets like for example uh, GMA 7's 24 Horas. So we were featured in that uh, news. Swak sa mga kabataang mahili gumawa ng cover song ang patok of the town natin ngayong gabi. Nag-level up kasi sa pag-cover ng kanta ang isang grupo ng kabataan. Ang kantang sikat sa mga millennial, ginawa nila ng rondalia version. <laughs> Tugtog ng Rondalia Group ng Fort Tunato F. Halili National Agricultural School sa Bulacan, ang kantang Mundo. Hit song po yan ng Pinoy pop rock band na Four of Spades. At ang kanilang video, may may get 50,000 views at may get isang libong shares na po sa Facebook. Maraming netizens ang natuwa sa kanilang folk rendition. Magandang paraan din daw ito para lalong tangkilikin ang original Filipino music o OPM. 2019, uh, we saw the emergence of the acknowledgement of our teamwork of Ryan Cruz, of Anthony Ryan. Um, we arranged Tagpuan and then we arranged uh, Buwan. And then, uh, was the other? Uh, one of my favorite arrangements would be uh, my Star Wars Medi. So it comprises of the main team. And then the Darth Vader team. And then Luke Skywalker's team. The, the Forces team. The, and then Princess Leia's team. And then uh, I made the coda out of the episodes for uh, credit scenes towards the ending and then uh, 2019 saw the year that uh, we have been uh, invited by uh, UNTB by Daniel Rason, Kuya Daniel Rason we were featured in UNTV and uh
was a great experience, uh, especially for the kids, because uh, I would say it is quite rare that the for a rondalia to be featured in national TV. And then, uh, the funny thing that happened on the live performance of our rondalia, the funny thing there is that I was about to play the Mission Impossible team starting with the tremolo and then at the first bow stroke my second string just broke so 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 my partner Ryan would be <laughs> he was really sweating he was really sweating on that first instance but then I have the show must go on I have to do every every notes on the lower octave but then you know that's history uh, it's a wonderful piece of history for Portonato e Falili National Agricultural School uh, well be, besides for me and Ryan and then uh, later that month we were uh, being visited by TV5, uh, there was a segment in TV5, uh, Talentado Ka, uh, we were featured, we were shoot, we were... and then there was this uh, second instance where in UNTB uh, made a school shoot. Uh, the interviewer interviewed the students uh, why they are playing the rondalia why why do they like the rondalia something like that Bago tumuntong sa malaking entablado upang maghandog ng musika, sa apat na sulok ng silid aralang ito ng e-ensayo ang mga miyembro ng SPA rondalia ng Fortunato F. Halili National Agriculture School. Nila, masaya ang pakiramdam na matugtog ang kanilang instrumento sa oras ng ensayo. Magiging way para magiging ka-close kayo mga friends ko. Malaki rin ang epekto ng musika at ng pagiging miyembro ng ensemble sa kanilang murang edad. Yung ano po, determination po, yung mastery po. po naging maging responsable po ako sa mga ginagawa ko. Nadidisiplina din po ako, naging maaga na pong pumasok. Wala pong sinasayang na oras. Sa kabila ng busy schedule, kaya nilang pagsabay-sabayin ang mga dapat gawin. Tamang time management po. Kailangan nyo pong gumising ng maaga para po makapunta ng rehearsal. Binibigyan ko po ng time yung pag-aaral ko. Gusto nyo po yung ginagawa mo para po, ano, hindi ka po magsasawa kahit pa ulit-ulit yung ginagawa mo. At kung magkulang man sa pagtulong sa gawaing bahay, may paraan para bumawi sa mga magulang. Hmm. Tumutulong po ako sa gawain bahay, tapos po, uh, tumutulong din po ako sa ano namin, sa shop po namin. Po, pinapakita ko po kay mama yung peace ko minsan. It was a very, very humbling experience that I, I wouldn't really know that that it could came on this uh, point that we were being brought up in national TV. I think what caught the media was our arrangement of Game of Thrones. Uh, you know, I made... I'm not really familiar with the music of Game of Thrones, but then I took the main theme and then I made the, I made the section and then I, I reprised the main theme of Game of Thrones. Made, made, I made a grandiose ending and uh, voila, that's the that's the result. Many really appreciated that. And then to mention uh, 
2019-2020, that school year, besides I was uh, also a co-instructor of the Rondalia of Fortunato F. Alili National Agricultural School, is that um, we had a uh, sting ensemble. So what I did was, uh, you know, I teach kids, I play the violin, though the the parts they, they only play one part and then uh, I uh, I play a backing track and then I shoot with their performance so those kids were were the start of something and uh, I was really hoping that uh, those children that we have been teaching music would really appreciate what is music. 2019-2020 also saw the, um, the pinnacle of the SPA Rondalia as well as the SPA String and Sum because uh, I was uh, shooting both groups arranging both groups uh, that would be the most uh, productive year and the uh, most memorable year uh, so far in my career in my teaching career <laughs> sad part of 2020 was when the pandemic struck it halted many of our activities generally um, when it was about to be when 2020-2021 school year was announced on uh, October uh, there has been many many changes and uh, what happened is that my former co-teacher Anthony Ryan Cruz uh, prior to his uh, transfer to another station in October of 2020, uh, made a project, so he compiled my uh, arrangements and the composition, a movement from my composition, and turned it into a book. Um, the good thing with that is that uh, somehow we have managed to create a legacy by creating a book and then distributing it to uh, schools in Region 3. The music of the Philippines is rich. It, um, besides the indigenous music of the, the different tribes in the Philippines, um, Rondali music uh, stands as one of the pillars of uh, Philippine music and uh, it explored the richness of what is being a Filipino. You know what made me proud of being a Filipino? 
is by listening to Rondalia Music. Again, this is Marco Polo Ignacio uh, saying that whenever, wherever we are, if we love music, just keep on playing. Thank you. Bye.